What time is it on the moon? Well, soon we might actually be able to answer that because the US has asked NASA to establish a unified standard of time for the moon. The White House said it was vital to set international norms as nations and private companies race to establish a more permanent lunar presence. And NASA has until 2026 to figure it out. The time zone will be called Coordinated Lunar Time. Let's speak to Professor Catherine Heymans, astronomer for uh, Scotland. R very good to see you. What a challenge. How hard is it going to be to work out what the time is on the moon? Um, well, people might be wondering, why is the time on the moon not just the same as the time on Earth? You know, in, in our own everyday life, you know, time you know, ticks by. Um, but Einstein's law of general relativity tells us that time isn't absolute. It changes depending on where you are in the universe. The rate that clocks tick depends on the gravity where you are. Um, now, the way we define time here on Earth is using atomic clocks. Um, there is the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in France. Uh, they monitor these atomic clocks and that sets the universal coordinated time that we use um, every day here on Earth. Now, if you took those atomic clocks up to the moon, they would run slightly faster because the gravity on the moon is less. Uh, you might remember the pictures of the astronauts when they uh, landed at the Apollo missions, they bounce up and down. That's because the gravity is less on the moon. And the consequence of that, the, the sort of the fundamental nature of gravity is that the clocks run faster. Now, it's not too much faster. Um, if you took an atomic clock up there, 50 years later, it would only be running one second faster. So it's only a very small time difference. But it's enough to cause real problems when you are looking at space travel and humans uh, inhabiting the moon, which is NASA's long term plan. Catherine, you mentioned the Apollo mission. There have been others as well. So what's happened up until now? Do different countries use their own time zones when they go up there? Exactly. Yeah. So there are different ways that you can define it. You might want to uh, define the time based on Earth, based on your own country, based on wherever your um, Houston centre is or equivalent. Um, so there's there's not been a sort of a coordinated um, time. And you, you could imagine this would be OK if it, if it was just different nation space agencies. But now we have private companies as well also racing to the moon. There was the recent, uh, the, the first US company to land on the moon recently with intuitive machines. So the moon is becoming a really busy place. And if we want to keep it safe, uh, then we need to define a standard uh, time that everyone can stick to and agree to. Um, now, this was actually called for more than a year ago by the European Space Agency. So the White House are just catching up here. Um, but it's important because the White House has the most ambitious um, time to get humans back on the moon. The plan is for humans to be landing on the moon again at the end of 2026. And China is planning uh, astronauts to land there in 2030. So it's uh, exciting times ahead for human exploration on the moon. Catherine, you mentioned how busy it's going to be, but it also reflects too, doesn't it, the just ongoing fascination that everyone has for the moon. Absolutely. I think, you know, we, we all love the moon. It's it's a constant in our life, but it's also changing depending, you know, sometimes we see it as a crescent moon. Sometimes we see it as a full moon. It's always there. It's always beautiful to look at up. Um, people, if you have binoculars that are gathering dust somewhere in your house, don't just leave them there. Take them out. Have a look at the moon when you can, because it's absolutely gorgeous to look at the craters and just zooming in with your binoculars gives you a really beautiful view of that wonderful celestial body. At some beautiful pictures at the moment, and I agree with you 100%, Catherine. Really lovely to get your thoughts. Catherine Hammond's Astronomer Royal for Scotland. Thank you for joining us.